Um, Joel, you guys had a lot of success offensively over the weekend. Good faceoffs, you know, um, a lot of shots on net. I mean, was that something that had been building over the last couple of weeks or was it just kind of accumulation over the last couple of games? I think we're getting more confident in, in terms of our approach and a little more familiarity with our, with our line combinations. And yeah, for us to, to score the way we did it, you know, is, is a real positive sign. I was talking with the St. Cloud coaches and, and they, you know, they can see even from a, a month or two ago when we played, uh, you know, the progress that, that's being made for us generating offense. So, you know, still some work to do on the special teams and, and you know, trying to trying to actually capitalize on some of the chances we get. But overall, I was really happy with with our offensive, you know, how we generated offense and in the chance of scoring chances. And then obviously to, to score uh, is a big deal. And, you know, we just haven't found that perfect combination yet where, you know, we get great defense and and capitalize on offense in the same game. And and uh, that's why it's so tough to win in our league because there's so many good teams. With um, you played both goalies again over the um series. Are you going to still with that? I think one's emerging over the other one now that we're in December. Is that going to be the plan to go forward? Or yeah, I think it's it's kind of been our standard uh, to, to to try to split um, because we just feel like in practice uh, there hasn't been a clear um, person that's that's jumped forward and. You know, and, and to be honest, Ryan, we've got three goalies. You know, Maggie hasn't gotten a lot of opportunities, but when she does, she's she's been solid. So uh, it's a, it's a it's a little bit of a conundrum uh, for us as coaches each week, which is why we've continued to to split. I thought you know Saskia had a good start to to the season, and that's why she was you know starting a, a bit more on on the first game of the series, and and uh, and and Dobbs has has really stepped up as of late, and so it's a healthy competition. The best part about our goalies is uh, I call it the goalie room. You know, they support one another. All three of them get along, uh, encourage each other. And so I would anticipate uh, us continuing in our process. Obviously, if one emerges and and really kind of shines, then uh, then she'll get uh, the majority of opportunities. But uh, we still feel like it's a it's a good, healthy competition. Going back to the offense, I I was there on Saturday there was a lot of good setups on goals. They weren't just kind of throwing the puck on the net. There was a lot of passing back and forth and finding the perfect opening. Is that something you've been preaching recently or just, it just kind of together? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a good observation. I think what what's happened is, as I mentioned earlier, the familiarity with players and, uh, and where they're supposed to be, where, where we can be predictable for one another. And if there's anything that's been preached, it's, it's been to never pass up a good shot on goal, but also let's be predictable for one another. And so as we become more predictable, uh, you know, and whether it's the position we're in or, you know, how we're going to approach a, a zone entry or a face off or any, any sort of set play, um, it allows us to be more confident and trust in our teammates. Uh, and that usually leads to good goal scoring opportunities. And, and that that was fun to see. Now you get Duluth this week, you know, everybody kind of knows how good they are and the tradition they have on there, but is there anything that jumps out at you this year that since this is the first play them this year that stands out to what makes them so good or in that regard? I think they're really well balanced. Uh, you know, they've got a, certainly a great returning group of seniors and grad, grad, graduate seniors and transfers and, so I think they're really well balanced at, at at all three positions, and that's what makes them really tough. You know, you might look at a, a certain team in 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 the world of women's hockey and say they're they're really great offensively or they're really stingy defensively. And Duluth is one of those teams that, as they showed last weekend against the number one team in the country, they can they can score five or six goals and win in overtime, or they can play you know a two to nothing or a two to one game. And so I think that's what makes them really uh, really tough to to game plan for. Uh, because they can play in all three zones and uh, they're well coached. Uh, Maura's done a great job there uh, and she's a, a great friend. And, and so we'll, we'll have a tall task uh, in store Friday and Saturday. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited because uh, we haven't seen them yet this year. We get to go on the road and, um, and, and see, see where, where things land. You know, it's just as tough to win against any team in our league uh, or to, to be competitive against any team in our league. And, and Duluth is no, uh, no stranger to that information or that idea as well. So I, I know that they're preparing just as hard to play us as we are 
uh, to compete against them. When I talked to some of your players last year, um, whenever you guys are playing a team that had like a lot of tradition, a lot of national championships, your team was really eager to play those teams because they wanted to see how they stacked up against them. Is that something you take pride in as a coach that your team embraces challenges like that? Yeah, I was just uh, chatting with one of our staff members and, you know, our team works hard. Uh, they did, there's no give up there. There's, there's always a compete level that, that, uh, that it makes us as coaches extremely proud. And, you know, I remember going back to when we started, you know, our, our first division one season a year and change ago, and people would ask, what are your expectations? And I would just use the word, uh, we want to be competitive. And, and I think that's what we've done consistently. Um, and so I, I do think our team embraces that and, and it's hard, you know, there's a lot of moral victories in year one, uh, moral victories are harder to come by in year two. Um, and, and I love that about our team that they're not satisfied um, even from what would have been satisfying a year ago. Now they want to win. And, and yet we're still building, we're still working on all the details. We're still adding, you know, as we go through this process. And so uh, the fact that they still compete and still love each other, still treat each other the same in the dressing room is what makes our team pretty special. I'm good. Um, yeah. Nothing else is there, but I'm good to go. <laughs> I've got one more for you. Um, I, I, we talked about kind of being familiar offensively and having nice setups, like Ryan said, but I think Maya's goal in game one, Stensley's goal in game two, came off the neutral zone turnover, and they finally, you know, put it home. So is there something that you can coach to make that improvisation happen more routinely, or is it just something that they have to, they have to learn to put themselves in the right spot and, and then put it away? Yeah, I, I think there's the things that we can coach is being predictable on zone entry so that when we get those turnovers, you know, we're attacking the net and we've got good support going, you know, through the middle, middle of the ice towards the net to put some pressure on the weak side D um, and that gives the shooter an opportunity to shoot the puck or, you know, create a two on one to create a three on two to add people into the play. So there's some there's some structure to our zone entries that is important. And the most important part of that is when we get that turnover, everybody's on offense. There's no positions at that point. There's no forwards or D. Everybody's jumping into the play. Uh, and then I think it's just the confidence of, of familiarity of, of, hey, I can shoot and score and, and having players that have that skill and also the, the decision to, to take advantage of, of the opportunity. Uh, and, you know, Maya's done that uh, all season long. It's great to see, you know, Lauren get, get two this weekend, uh, two different goals, but, but anytime you can score on a Friday and a Saturday, it's, it's pretty, a pretty good weekend for a player. So uh, that's a, that's a huge encouraging sign for us is we're, we're getting some consistent offense uh, from players who we really need it from. And so, whether it's a scheme or a pattern or a predictability um, at some point, somebody still has to make a special play and, and uh, both Maya and Lauren uh, showed they did that uh, both this weekend. All right. Thanks coach. Thanks. Thanks